as Rogers exceeds his average, bringing it back 28 yards. For Nebraska, up front, Bob Ravel, 84. The other end is Jerry List, number 85. White, along with Crenshaw, the tackles. Anderson and Barron, the guards, and a great center, Dumbler, while Hummers, the quarterback. 22 Dixon, 44 Olds, and 20 Rogers. In California, the far side. That's Rogers in the slot at the top of your screen on a second and seven from the 29. Dixon again for more Nebraska yardage. Nebraska coming into the game, ranked number five. Eight victories, a loss, and a tie. His defense is a 5-2 with Lucius Selman, number 98, as the nose guard. They've given up only four touchdowns in nine games thus far. Quarterback home of Nebraska on a first down play. Rogers on a reverse from a wingback position. Is caught at the line of scrimmage by Derlin Moore, number 97 and number 96. Another great defensive tackle for the Sooners, Raymond Hamilton. Minutes, Nebraska with the ball. Slot formation to the near side. In fact, the double wing formation. Here's Olds, the fullback, and the Oklahoma defense has come through with another great play. Defensive backs are in the Oklahoma defense, expecting a pass on third and 16, and they're going to see it. The pass was short just in front of Bob Ravel, number 84, and that is a kicking situation and just puts a spotlight on the Oklahoma defense, but not by the Cornhuskers. Greg Pruitt, right halfback, number 30 for Oklahoma, a Heisman Trophy candidate, uh, is a key factor in their attack. Let's take a look at him on this play and see how well his ankle allows him to move. Oklahoma, the leading exponents of the wishbone formation. Dave Roberts, number 10, to split into the far side. Fruit was involved on the fake after the handoff to Leon Crosswhite, the fullback. And the Sooners moved from their own 39 across the 40. The key factor for Oklahoma is the yardage they make on first down, and we'll keep track of that for you. They need to be ahead of the defense on down and distance to have the wishbone function properly. Carroll to the far side. Second down and six from the Oklahoma 43. No score. Well, there's one thing for sure. Greg Pruitt can leap. There's nothing wrong with his takeoff. Number 30, the native of Houston. There he is. Okay. There's Glover. And Robertson back to pass. And it was batted down by number 90, John Dutton. Six feet seven, 248 pounds. In the backfield now. From the 11, Hum. Fine defensive play on Bob Ravel by number 28, Kenneth Pope of Galveston, Texas, 11. And another incompletion as Pope was covering Johnny Rogers on the play. The Oklahoma defense congratulating their defensive back on two straight defensive plays. Two game now with a third and ten. From their own 11. No score in this game. Fine call. Dan Kroger. And look at the pursuit of the Oklahoma defense led by Lucius Selman, number 98. A finger from his own end zone to punt with a following win. The kick is up. Joe Washington is back. But the ball is short. It may be recovered by Nebraska. Yes, it is. Covered it at the Oklahoma 49. Take a look at it again. Fair catch. He simply didn't move up quickly enough to get to it. And of course, he didn't have any help back there with the Nebraska coverage. All no score in the game. Hum handing off to the beat back. Dixon, number 22, up on the line. Doug Dumbler is the captain of Nebraska. He centers the ball. Second down and four. Dam Kroger, number 46 carrying, and Rod Schote of Spiro, Oklahoma, a sophomore linebacker, made the tackle. Let's reading, moving to the outside. He's going to be one of the great linebackers in Oklahoma history. This boy has really improved as the season's gone along. That's the speed and the strength that you're looking for. Now the first string is in on third down and four for Nebraska, a double wing formation. David Hump, Jerry List, the tight end, number 85, holding it in, first down, Nebraska, David Smith on the tackle, number 44. No score if you just joined us, David Hump. What a hit by Pope. 
34, Bob Ravel is put to the left. Johnny Rogers, 20 to this side of the play. On a third down and nine from the 28. Hum. Down the middle. Dave Gaylor, number 28. Hauled it in inside the 20 at the 17 is opposite. There's the delay. Good call. Touchdown. They did. The linemen were ready to rush. There's the rush of the linemen. See the other people simply wiped out. The recovery have moved from the Oklahoma 49 and 9 plays to get the first score of the game. With uh, seven minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter, Nebraska seven, Oklahoma nothing. As Joe, Nebraska leading seven to nothing. Oklahoma with the ball. Here's Robertson to John Carroll. First down, Oklahoma at the 42. And on Carroll and use the other 10 men to try to stop the Sooners' running attack. Let's take a look at it. Here's the one one-on-one -on -one coverage, and when you run the stop pattern, it's very hard for the defender to get back up in time to make the play. They can use the option pitch and turn the corner. The Texas-born wishbone used by Oklahoma. Second and six. John Carroll, first down at the 37 of Nebraska. College teams is working for them. Robertson is a very fine passer, and when you get this one-on-one -on -one coverage, as you can see, you really did a very good job of staying in position, but with... Now from the 34, it's a second down and seven, the deepest penetration of Oklahoma. And Nebraska recovers a cross-white fumble. As we look at Coach Bob Devaney, what a record he has had, or rather Chuck Fairbanks. Fairbanks, who uh, is going for his 50th win at Oklahoma. No defense. Johnny Rogers getting a little double coverage out on the far side of the field here at Memorial Stadium. We had included Selman, Lucius Selman, and Kenny Polk. Nope. Third down and 11. Johnny Rogers. Number 43 and Dan Ruster, number 16, in on the play as the referee Vance Carlson looks to the far side indicating that they need that much for a first down, but it brings up a fourth down deep in their own territory and approach Bob Devaney seeking his 101st victory and his last game as coach of a regular season game as he announced his retirement last January. He'll become athletic director following a, a bowl game against Notre Dame. Darrell White, the tackle. And the Oklahoma defense moves in on Gary Dixon, number 22. Defense number 98. He's taking on Dumbler here, slifting right past Dumbler and doing Rick Glover's thing by being in the back. Here's Hum. And it's going to be a punting situation as Selman comes in fast, number 98. Chuck Fairbanks feels that uh, he's the strongest lineman that he's coached. This is a Sanger punt, high in the air. Joe Washington calling for a fair catch. And for a change, the Sooners hang on to the ball. For Nebraska 7, Oklahoma nothing, 42 seconds, first quarter. And Joe Washington from Fort Arthur, Texas, carried on the play across midfield. Carroll splits to the near side on third down and five. Cross wide. First down for Oklahoma at the 39 of Nebraska. And it's not time. Time has run out here in the first quarter. And the Nebraska Cornhuskers, favored in this game on their home field, are in a 7 0 lead after they went 49 yards in nine plays to score. Be back for the second quarter in a minute. Sharp Steel versus the Goodyear Custom Power Cushion Poly Steel Tire. To demonstrate the penetration resistance of steel cord belts under the tread. Watch. The polyester cord body soaks up shocks, and Dover's steel cord belts resist penetration. Poly Steel, a 40,000 mile tire engineered for American cars. Only from Goodyear. <laughs>
Quasar color TV system, based on a big idea in color TV. The works in a drawer TV for ease of service. We think it's a better way to build color TV because the modules can be plugged in and out right up front. Get ease of service plus the advances in our solid state chassis design. Plus one button instamatic tuning and look at the color on this actual closed circuit picture. By Motorola. I don't know what it is about my face, but every Sunday 11 guys like this go after it. Sometimes they don't miss. So I'm not about to take any rough treatment from a shaver. I got a new Remington Mark III with a comfort head. It has smaller slots, so it gets more of your beard and less of your skin. It has replaceable blades. When they get dull, you change them. With a face like this, you can't be too careful. Yeah! Remington. We made the close shave comfortable. Welch did not make the trip. He's had a shoulder separation, and they, so they're down to their third pullback. John Carroll has been a great pass catcher. He is out of bounds at about the 26. And that should, but let's see if he's hurt. And up there is John Carroll. And number 11 going in uh, for Carroll is Tinker Owens, the freshman Steve Owens, young brother. Jim Branch, the linebacker, fills when necessary. Statistics, uh, Oklahoma leading slightly. The statistic that doesn't show are two fumbles by Oklahoma recovered by Nebraska. Which are today. And our guest coach is Colorado's Eddie Crowder, the Okie from Muskogee, not Merle Haggard. Okay, to the left, Tinker Owens on a third down and 11 from the 25. The shot to Tinker. Ooh, couldn't get to it. Fourth down and 11. Zavin Zarelian, number 15, covering on the play. And here again is coach Bob Devaney, a graduate of Alma. Rick Fulcher has kicked seven of ten field goals this year. And Robertson will hold. It'll be a 30, a 41-yard attempt. It's up. It's no good. A 41-yard try for three points. And the ball comes out to the 20. With 13 minutes, 36 seconds to go, Nebraska in the lead, 7 to nothing. On first down, the maximum they've made is 5 yards. The rest of the time, it's been 3 or less. Tinker Owen at 155 pounds to the left. Here comes a pass intended for him, but it was knocked down by John Dutton. That's the second time he has knocked down a forward pass. The flanker just out beyond his tackle. Marvin Crenshaw is Rogers. <laughs> Gary Dixon loses the ball. Oklahoma has it. We see no signals, no whistles. And number 31 of Oklahoma, Vic Kearney. Well, the ball hit the ground, so he cannot advance it as you can in professional football, but it was ruled a fumble. Oklahoma has recovered the Nebraska fumble, and it's the Sooners' ball. So it'll be a second down and 10 here at Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska with 11-13 to go. First half, it is seven to nothing. Turnovers, one Nebraska and two for Oklahoma. All three fumble recoveries. Second and 10 from the Nebraska 41. <laughs> Bama ran to Texas. Nebraska gets something. <laughs> Joe Washington. John Dutton. That's that uh, big boy. Fourth. Fourth down and two from the wishbone. Ball is just across the 35. Robertson. Oh! Joe Blahock comes up with a third Oklahoma error. Neither did I, and I think that was the fact that someone went the wrong way. Right. Sophomore Dave Hum now from right near here. His 35, hides the ball beautifully, it's knocked down. Looked like number 96, Raymond Hamilton. From the 39, third down and six. Johnny Rogers. Uh, I don't think the midsection shot hurt Johnny Rogers at all, but a lot of the far side. From the 41. And Oklahoma intercepts the pass. Dan Ruster, number 16, a pass intended for Johnny Rogers. He pulls it right out of the air. It's nine plays as he recovered a muffed fair catch. 
Joe Washington carrying on the play. And as you see, he moved from the 17 just across the 20. Al Chandler, first down, Oklahoma. About a 10 mile an hour breeze moving from left to right. The direction Oklahoma is trying to move against Nebraska, second and eight. And Tinker Owens, the freshman from Miami, Oklahoma, pulls it in. Sell out crowd again. There's no way of turning that corner unless you can tie the tackle up. Uh, they've got one more man out there than you have. Actually a loss of a yard to the 45, so it'll be second down and 11. Owens to the near side from the wishbone. And Robertson had to run as his receivers were covered. Rich Glover and Dutton and Harper all there to do a fine job. Dave Gaylor. Stopped by David Smith. Rogers at the top of your screen. Ravel opposite on the first down. Here is Dan Kroger. And three Sooners helping to bring him down. Jump that he showed his agility by jumping back without touching anybody. With the ball about at the 38, this is the third down play. Nebraska leading 7 to nothing, 2.45 to go in the first half. Rogers to the far side. Anderson, 89 to the near side. Humps to Anderson. And it's a first down. Nebraska at the 42 of Oklahoma. High back and Rogers the flanker. Double wing formation. Floating one out to Rogers. Look at that move. A marker is down upfield. Let's watch the sideline, and you can see that he was out of bounds there. He's ineligible to return to the field on that play. One thing we're thankful for is to have such great technical people and production people here on our ABC sports team, bud. Because can. just look at that. that. That was beautifully done. And they lead 7 to nothing. A minute 30 to go in the first half. And Johnny Rogers, the intended receiver. That's the first time Oklahoma's put the rush on. It was very... So with only 27 seconds remaining here in the first half on a third and five, Leon Crosswhite carried on the play. As we look at a young man that re-injured an ankle that he injured a punt, we have Rodgers and Borg, 20 and 19 back. Nebraska leading, 7-0, 17 seconds left in the first half, and Rodgers just watches it roll around the 45 as at one Eastern time. Another royal battle between Ohio State and the Michigan Wolverines. Loose ball. On the clock we see five seconds. It's recovered by Derlin Moore. There you see five seconds. And so we'll set this one up at the 35. It's a 45-yard field goal attempt. Rahaney snapping the ball. Here's the try. Not enough distance. Lahawk with a tremendous rush. But the kick was far short. So Oklahoma now has missed on two field goals, one of 41 and one of 45. And there's no more time here in the first half as Nebraska maintains its 7 to nothing lead. And we'll return for halftime activities after station identification. Automobile shock absorbers are nothing new. For over 50 years, they've been used to absorb road bumps. Well, General Motors took this principle and turned it around to help absorb front-end bumps. That's the secret behind the new General Motors bumper, which is on many new GM cars. An energy-absorbing device or shock absorber that gives on minor impact like this. This new bumper system is designed to work in extreme heat, in conditions of cold, and when it's caked with mud. You can still jack it up. This new GM bumper wasn't the easiest solution to better bumpers, but we feel it's one of the best 
a good-looking bumper that can take it. You pay too much for car insurance. Your independent insurance agent thinks so, and the fine companies he represents think so. You see, you set the rates every time you edge past the speed limit or try and beat a light. People make insurance rates by the way they drive. What your independent agent can do is get you the best insurance protection at the best rates. He gives you a choice, a choice of leading companies like these. See a pro where you find the symbol. Who's got them smiling big? Who oh, do they really dig? Ooh. Big M. Miller Malt. Big M. Miller Malt. Big M. Miller Malt Liquor. When Miller brews a malt, Miller brews it big. <laughs> Who's got them smiling big? Oh, who do they really dig? Ooh. Big M. Miller Malt. Big M. Miller Malt. Big M. Miller Malt Liquor. When Miller brews a malt, Miller brews it big. <laughs> obvious that John Carroll is not recovered from his injury in order to be back in. And here is Joe Washington, hemmed in. So from the 41, first down, David Hum in at quarterback. And the lefty spots his man Bob Ravel. Ravel is out of bounds across midfield at about the 47 with Roach 26 and Hughes 19 covering for the Sooner defense. Second down and 10. And defensively, Oklahoma's alert on Gaylor, 28. Raymond Hamilton. Great defensive play. Ball loose, let's see. They said that was no fumble. Well, that's a little hard for me to believe, Chris. I hope we get another look at it. Wow. <laughs> Derlin Moore is over the ball. Let's see it again. Hum dropping back, getting a hard rush, and that <coughs> ball certainly looked to me to be a fumble, and Oklahoma recovered, but the referee standing there ruled otherwise. A 12-yard loss, fourth down and 21. Here's the kick by Sanger. It's a beauty. Joe Wiley is deep, letting it go through or into the end zone for a touchback. So we have 12 minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter with Nebraska leading seven to nothing. And we've just seen a 54 yard punt by Sanger of the Cornhuskers. We'll return for more action following this message from one of our many sponsors. And we've just received word that Greg Pruitt, the Oklahoma star back, will not return to the game today. I mean, Home is back to pass and he is hit and you can see the ball is already loose before he's even close to going to the ground. The official behind him, Cochran, the referee, I think was screened by Hum, but there are a lot of other officials out there that are all supposed to be watching it too. I can't feel that, that was a good call. Leon Crosswhite carried on that last play on a third down and three, which brings up a fourth down and one. <laughs> Knocked down by number 43, Rod Schott. Eight for Nebraska from the 30. Hum. <laughs> on that series by Nebraska. Sanger's kick now. Score is seven to nothing. Wiley has it. Wiley's looking for some blockers. And there is a wrist tackle, but a loose ball as Jerry List may have gotten on it for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The 24 of Oklahoma. And on the uh, flanker around play, Johnny Rogers picks up some yardage. Second and seven from the 31. And Dave Gaylor. That little delay, done it again. 
Jackson to read as he hits in. That time, Mueller cut it way back to the short side. They need four yards. Johnny Rogers gets up and goes in, but apparently he was down at the one. One. And the Oklahoma defense put about 10 men up on the line, and they deny Nebraska a touchdown, so it'll be fourth down and goal. Bellman, whom we've talked about before. Fourth down and goal. And up and over. Touchdown, Dave Gaylor. 24 yards, six plays. Gaylor's eighth touchdown of the year, and it's 13 to nothing. 6.45 remaining in the third quarter here at Lincoln, Nebraska. The Cornhuskers lead 14 to nothing. Nebraska. This is Washington coming to the 15-20. And there is a freshman that shows a great deal of promise. Been replaced by a freshman, Tinker Owens. Who's to the left. Here's a pass to Tinker. Knocked away. Robertson. Tinker going deep. Tinker. Tinker has it. Robertson put it right on target. 155 Double pounds. coverage on Tinker. Steve Owens, Tinker, a freshman at the university, running a little weave pattern, and Robertson had it right on target. 10 from the approximately the 38 of Nebraska. Nebraska leading 14 to nothing. And here comes Tinker on an end around. That's it. Washington left. That was Albert Chandler slipping but covered by Blahawk number 27 at approximately the 26. 6'2, 233 pounds. The Oklahoma line gave Robertson great protection on this play. He had about five or six counts to throw the ball. Chandler weaved and then came across the field, and Robertson had it right on the numbers for the first down. 16-yard play, so now Oklahoma with it at the 26 of Nebraska, trailing 14 to nothing, with about five minutes to go in the third quarter. Owens, number 11 to the left. Cross White with Brahaney blocking. X second and four. Owens. Tinker Owens. What a fine young ball player the game. They started this drive at their own 24. Now they have a first and goal. Robertson. From Wahoo, Nebraska. The ball is at the three. It's a third down and goal. Nebraska leading 14 to nothing. And the pride of their defensive units, the black shirts beginning to rise up at this moment. All right, here's the 10th play of this drive that began at the 24. Bill Jansen, yard scoring march against Nebraska. Owens to the left. Bill Washington, touchdown. Washington to get into the end zone. It is 14 to 6. The power sweep. No wishbone fake here. Everybody leading and blocking. Burkett, Crosswhite, leading him out. Great block by Crosswhite. That's a fine running ball and a kickoff as soon as it's gone 10 yards. That was Bryant Longwell, a reserve offensive end that couldn't wait to field that ball and is down at the 28 of Nebraska. He's over to the near side and again Pope is there with him. And Maury Dam Kroger. So and 11. Five defensive backs in for Oklahoma. Jerry List couldn't hang on to the ball. It is fourth down and 11. Punting time. Sanger to punt. Joe Wiley is deep. Here's Wiley, number 22 at the 35. 40, 45. He's nearly up to midfield. 
is a very so now with the score 14 to 7 and a minute 51 to go in the third quarter. We have quite a ball game going here and it goes hardly. Robertson Tinker Owens is deep. Look out and Tinker look at that for a freshman. What a play by a first year collegian. He knew he couldn't get it so he goes on defense and knocks it away. Beautiful. Tinker's out again and in traffic. Pulls that in. What a remarkable small young football player. I believe Tinker Owens was open that time if he had had time to deliver the ball to him. See a week from Saturday against Notre Dame right here on ABC. And the rush on the quarterback Harper and Manstead. The pinching ends make it fourth down. There is Wiley. End over end. And it's inside the 10. Very effective. And Taker Owens was right there to down the ball. And a so we'll have the start of the fourth quarter after this message. Holidays are more fun with Holiday Inn. The good food and friendly atmosphere make our party rooms and restaurants perfect for celebrations. Whether you're welcoming the new year with old friends or toasting to a job well done or giving your wife time out from the holiday rush or treating your kids to a special holiday dinner. Mmm. Enjoy your dinner, sir. I really recommend Holiday Inn, the most accommodating people in the world. Get more hot buttered popcorn. And nothing makes better hot buttered popcorn than the Hamilton Beef Butter Up Popper. It's the original automatic self-buttering popper. You just put the butter here, and you get the greatest hot buttered popcorn you ever tasted. And that's not all. You can get one of my autographed footballs, too. Get the details of this special offer at your store. Just tell him Joe sent you. The Butter Up Popper from the Hamilton Beach Scoville World of Appliances. Any good news, Julie? Mark IV. I see but one. Verily, such stuff as dreams are made of. Mark IV. Ah, oh, thy cigar. What a noble thing it is. Tell me, hast thou struck it rich? Twenty cents. Noble. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me thy box. Take this full pack for thy toga pocket. There are still some good things. Mark IV. A noble cigar. If you built a truck, you'd probably build it the way we did. You'd ask people what they wanted, what they liked, what they disliked. You'd set lofty goals for your truck. Try to make it ride and handle better than any truck before. You'd fill it with improvements people will see, improvements people will feel. You'd test your truck's thousands of parts for thousands of hours and over hundreds of thousands of miles. And when you finished, you'd have a feeling that yours was one of the best designed, best built trucks in the world. Introducing your truck, the 1973 Chevrolet Cheyenne Super. on ABC and Nebraska against Notre Dame in the Orange Bowl. Hum. Knocked down again. That's four knockdowns of passes by the Oklahoma front wall. And seven. Bill Olds. Olds who scored the first touchdown for Nebraska is brought down by Rod Choate and it's going to be fourth down from the 11 line. And deep we have Joe Wiley. Joe has it. And great field position for the Oklahoma Sooners at the Nebraska 36. And now from the 36, Robertson of Oklahoma. In the statistical battle, 241 net yards, and amazingly, they've passed the ball better than they've rushed it. And for the second straight year, this game, Oklahoma-Nebraska, will decide the conference title. Third down and six. Tinker Owens. Boy, there is.
is a dominating split in number 11. He's filling in for the injured John Carroll. Second and nine now. Robertson looking. Tinker in the end zone. Overthrown. And let's see if we have interference yes, called there. Yes, they did call it, Chris. A little late, but they're going to call it. To go. Here we go again on the play previous to this. You can see Owens definitely was hit by Aurelian. Oklahoma trying to cap a 36-yard march from the one first and goal. And driving is number 25 touchdown, Burgett. And now with an extra point, the game can be tied. Touchdown coming at 11 minutes, 45 seconds of the fourth quarter, 14 all. After 36 yards, Oklahoma with the point after has tied the score with Nebraska in the battle for the Big Eight. Nebraska 14, Oklahoma 14 with 11.45 left in the game. There's the interference uh, call again. Uralian going against Tinker Owens as Owens runs the slant pattern to the inside and you'll see Uralian hit him here while the ball is in the air well before the ball gets there. The interference call, and Oklahoma got the ball there on the one yard line. Forget took it in for the touchdown. Dave Gaylor, a junior. Pope on the tackle. Rogers is in the slot. Now they put the deep back in motion. Bob Ravel. He had control inbounds at the 38 yard line. That's enough for the Nebraska first down. It's tied now. First and 10 at the 38. Home gets away. Then number 44, David Smith of Houston brings him down. And it's a loss of about a yard and a half. And 11 for Nebraska. David Hum. Loose ball. The referee Oklahoma, says Oklahoma. that Oklahoma has it. <laughs> You're not supposed to get to the passer. We only have three men going in. Derlin Moore, the 246-pounder, knocked it loose. And Lucius Selman recovered it for the Sooners at the Nebraska 27. This is Hamilton, number 96. But you can see the rest of the Oklahoma line pouring in. The ball is bounced out. That's Sterling Moore who jarred it loose and there's the Oklahoma recovery. Robertson to Joe Washington, the freshman, number 24, on a first and 10 from the 27. A double wing formation. That arm was hit. A beautiful defensive play by Nebraska. Jim Branch, number 51, and came in and hit the arm of the quarterback, Dave Robertson. You're always wondering in that situation, do you put on the big rush? Because obviously the coverage is not nearly as good. You get from 41 and a half into about a seven mile an hour wind. Here's the kick. It's up. It appears to be long enough. Oklahoma leads for the first time. 17-14 as they have scored 17 points in a row. We'll be back with 8.44 to go in the game. It's Nebraska at their own 23, first and 10. And actually, there's the running star thus far for Nebraska, Dave Gaylor. 17-14, Oklahoma leads with 7.54 to go in the game. Hum. I think somebody missed an assignment. Oh, yeah, and what a terrible time to miss one. Rodgers and Anderson to the near side. Hum. The wing one. Very bad pass. Didn't get it off the way he wanted to. Trying to throw it extremely long. That plus the rush. And it did not spiral for him as Randy Hughes covered Anderson on the play. And it's fourth down and six. About three. Jansen on the tackle. These are the Nebraska cheerleaders. Starting to get a little nippy here. A little chilly as the wind comes in and the sun goes down on the plains of Nebraska. Under the near side of the field on third and three with 5.50 left in the game. Oklahoma leading. Washington trying to get that three. And that's pop one for long yardage. Joe Wiley will punt. Here's the kick. Rogers moving up on it. Losing the ball, picking it up. 
Rodgers is down at about his own 33 following a 27 yard punt. Tom Brahaney, who snapped the ball to Wiley, made David Hum. Looking to Rodgers, there he is. Oh, isn't he something? And knocking the ball, but hoping to control it, was Dan Ruster, the senior from Littleton, Colorado. Nebraska with the ball with 4.31 left in the game. They have it, second and 10 at their own 45. Gaylor carrying, and another big play by Derlin Moore on top of number 44, David Smith on the bottom for the over. Third and eight. Did they control it? And Oklahoma, a Sooner, Kenneth Pope, and what a defensive day he has had. Rod Schott tipped it. Kenneth Pope pulled it in. Five for Nebraska, four for Oklahoma. Clock is running. Second down coming up from the 45. And at one time, 14 to nothing. Third and four for Oklahoma. Robertson, fetching it out to Washington. Washington, it appears, that gets the first down to remain in possession of the ball. As it brings up a third down and four with one minute and 56 seconds left in the game, will return by beating Oklahoma and White. And now they've scored the last 17 to lead as time is running out. And a fired up Joe Washington keeps control of the ball. And it appears that he gets the big, big first down. And a leader. He certainly is. Third and four for Oklahoma. They have the lead. 17-14 with 50 seconds. Remaining in the game, Crosswhite again carrying. And a... Important factor here for Oklahoma is Nebraska takes their last timeout. And they'll give it the big effort on this snap. You can bet. 45 seconds left on the clock. Bob Devaney on the left. Another native Wolverine from the state of Michigan, Chuck Fairbanks on the right. Battling here. Get rid of those headphones and watch the play, Chuck. <laughs> Fourth down. Joe Washington did not make it and Nebraska will get the ball with 39 seconds left on the clock. Bill Olds is the lone setback from the 15. David Hum with good protection throws out to Rogers and it's intercepted by a real hero of the defense for Oklahoma, Kenneth Pope. And that did it. 31 seconds. There is Pope from Galveston, Texas. He has just been great today. Captions need. And the Oklahoma players on the field are overjoyed. The Oklahoma fans, the Oklahoma band coming out on the field. Chuck Fairbanks being carried off the field when three years ago they almost ran him out of town in Norman. That was it, when he switched to the wishbone, uh, and a lot of people didn't think that uh, that was the right attack to be using, but it turned out to be. A little heartbreak for Bob Devaney in his last experience as a head coach here in the stadium in which he has won so often. But he'll be taking on Notre Dame in Miami while Chuck Fairbanks will go against Joe Paterno. Yes, sir. The Sugar Bowl. There's no feeling in the world quite like what Chuck has right now. Believe me, it's a great, great feeling. Ecstasy. Set by the master. We'll return in a minute. Well, no doubt there's great joy in Norman, Oklahoma right now. And with me, Bob Lund of Chevrolet, to make the Player of the Game awards to Wade Walker of Oklahoma. Bob? Well, Bill, it was an exhausting game, both for the players and for the people in the stands here today. And it was a difficult decision for you fellas to make, but you made some good ones. The outstanding uh, offensive player of the day was uh, Dave Robertson, the quarterback for Oklahoma. And the outstanding defensor, the defensive player was Kenneth Pope, a right cornerback, and both of them played extremely well. And here to receive the uh, scholarship, the Chevrolet Scholarship Awards, is Mr. Wade Walker, the athletic director from the University of Oklahoma. Congratulations, Wade Walker. Bob, thank you. I, I'm so excited. I really don't know whether I can tell you really how much we do appreciate it. Let me say this, that we've received two before from Chevrolet partner, and they've already gone to two deserving youngsters. 
and bless Pete Burr. We have two more to give to two more Oklahomans. I really can't thank you enough, Bob. Thank you from Chevrolet, Bill, and ABC, and all the folks. It's just fantastic, and I'm sorry because I can't tell them how really much we'd appreciate it. <laughs> okay, fine. Thanks very much, Wade. We'll see you in New Orleans, okay? You bet, Bill. Now let's go back to the booth, Chris and Bud.